Hello everyone there at uh, Carmen's Authentic Mexican Food, Carmen's Tamales. Um, my name is Charles Marini and I am responding to your advertisement, Upwork. Sorry, I mean your job post on Upwork. Uh, my name is Charles. I am with Wally Digital. We are a digital marketing agency in, based in Philadelphia, but we work with, uh, with people across the nation, businesses across the nation. This is me right here. Um, I wanted to respond by giving you guys, first of all, saying I really appreciate your, your posting because you're kind of straight to the point and uh, you're the kind of people I like to work with because it seems like you understand, you already know um, what you're doing and what I do. So it's it's easy to converse and I don't have to conv convince you guys of uh, what I'm saying, but just show you what I do. So um, I was taking a look at your websites and as, at your website and competitors. And I want to give you guys at least, you know, start off with, I want to show you value. If you choose to go with me, all great. We can work together. If you don't, take these tips and give them to whoever you're going with or your website person or your current um, SEO person. No harm, no foul if you do not go with me because, uh, I mean, my main value, my main goal, I even put it on my website, is to help local businesses. So, um... Let's get going. The three tips I want to uh, give you today are contents, citations, and backlinks. Content. Let's start with content. Content is everything that's on your page. All the text, all the pictures you see, um, all the words behind the text. Google does scour everything and considers that as content. And by behind your page, I mean if I decide to try and save an image, if I can here. No, this is the whole web page. Um, I'm not sure how you've stored your images, but let's see here. No. Okay, I can't do it right now. Usually I can uh, I can simply save an image and then tell what the name is. But I guess not with uh, these images here because they're embedded into the web page. So it just depends on what you, how you've stored your content and what you've, um, what you have saved your images as. Um, where I was going with that is that it's important to save your images as um, keywords, the keywords that your potential clients, customers would be looking for if they're looking for your kind of business. So instead of usually you'll see pictures saved as a rant of letters and numbers. I always say um, try to save your words as keywords because Google does pick up all of that and it will know to put you in front of uh, whoever's looking for your kind of service. Again, um, in addition, uh, Google optimizes for about 1,000 to 1,500 words of authoritative text on your front page. By authoritative, I mean text that shows who you are, what you do, what services, you uh, provide what locations uh, you you service, etc. And then saturate all that text with keywords and the you know the kind of search phrases that your your customers would be typing into Google to look for, so that Google knows to put you in front. So that's fifteen hundred to I mean sorry one thousand to fifteen hundred words of authoritative text. Um, also saturate the rest of your other your other pages with these keywords. The next thing I want to take a look at is citations, and that has to do with the actual Google search. So going into Google, if if someone's looking for your kind of business um, or service, it, it, it's something like catering. Uh, let's say catering Phoenix, because you're in Phoenix, and all these results would come up. Now, citations has to do with this uh, section here. And I noticed that two of your competitors that you put in your post are right over here. So um, citations has to do with this area called the map pack. So just a big brief description about Google's results. First, you'll see Google ads. Google ads are, are good for quick leads. However, they tend to get more and more expensive depending on the niche, the keywords that you're using, or that you're targeting, etc. And then also a lot of people have ad blockers on the phones and on the devices these days, so it's harder for, for they basically will not see the 
these um, these adverts. So it's important to just take that into account. Um, that a lot of people use ad blockers. A lot of people are just adverse, like me. I'm averse to clicking on ads. I'd rather click on organic results, etc. So let's talk about this next section, the map back here. Um, so how do you rank higher and higher in here? How can you beat your competitors in this map pack here? It has to do with citations. Citations are everywhere or anywhere on the internet that your name, address, and phone number are cited in different directories. And by directories, I mean directories like Yelp, LinkedIn, Yext, Dexnos, Better Business Bureau, um, etc. Um, superpages.com, whitepages.com, yellowpages.com, etc. And there are certain directories that are specific to certain niches as well. The more authoritative and the higher in number of the citations you have, the higher, uh, the better Google will recognize you as an authority and rank you higher here. There are tools out there, uh, for example, whitespark.ca and uh, Bright Local, that you can analyze your competitors' citations. And what I do is that I go in there, I analyze my competitors' citations, my clients' competitors, and I make sure that we have not just the same number or even the same citations that were included in the same directories if they're higher quality, but I want to try and double or triple the number of citations they have so that you can remain on top of this map pack. Once these guys see or yeah, see you here, they're going to struggle to be able to catch up with you. Third thing I want to talk about is back, our backlinks. Now, backlinks have, have to do with the organic listing section down here. And here I can see your competitor is ranking. The, the other site you had given is ranking fifth in Google for this keyword. Um, so backlinks. If you think of backlinks as a whole collection of... Uh, if you think of the internet as a collection of web pages, a backlink is when one link, one web page links to your web page. So, for example, if there's a forum on caterers in Phoenix and they have a blog out and they happen to have your link there because they liked your service linking to you, that's a good, relevant backlink. And uh, Google recognizes recognizes that and counts it higher. Um, not all backlinks are the same because if there's a, uh, a home remodeling agency in Philadelphia that has a backlink to you guys, completely different niche. So Google will see that and consider that not um, a bit spammier than the rest. And that's one thing I have to notice, I have to note, because you did mention here, you feel like most of your competitors have a half-assed approach to SEO and social. Um, and this is also because a lot of SEO and in the, even yeah, a lot of SEO experts maybe that they hire, um, what they do is that they'll tell you about backlinks and then they'll go out and get you like a thousand backlinks, but a lot of them are very, very spammy. So, so it's important to research your competitors and to research your niche well so that you can have good backlinks. Now, I took the liberty of using a tool of mine called AREFs. It's a very popular tool. A lot of SEO people have it. It's called AREFs, and it can give you an overview of different websites. So for example, you gave me Citron Catering, Arizona, and we can look at the backlinks that they have from 41 domains and i can tell that um like this is a facilities rental a harvest compassion center i can restaurant listings so a lot of the times your uh, backlinks will simply be restaurant uh, i mean sorry directories so as long as you're doing your citations well they will also count for good backlinks and then um, I would go in and look at their backlinks, make sure um, I can grab the higher quality ones, make sure your, your, um, your site is listed in those quality backlinks so that you get a backlink. And um, one other thing I want to note is, like I said, not all backlinks are the same. So for example, uh, here, Similars.net. Similars.net, I'm sure that's just a... See, it, it's not really an, an just has websites with a niche. So I'm sure Google does not see this as such a strong uh, backlink. Well, it's all about catering. So actually, that's a bad example. Let's go to another backlink. Auto clubs. So I'm not sure why auto clubs. What auto clubs have to do with, um, with 
with catering. So this is a backlink that your competitor has, but it's not that powerful. And we can look at your other competitors as well. Um, Fat Freddy's Catering. Now these guys have from 160 domains, they have about 1,230 backlinks. Remember I said not all backlinks are the same. So the distribution of their backlinks from 0 to 100, the majority of them are 0 to 10. Uh, so that's one thing to take into account. The other thing to take into account is the, the age of their domain. They've been around since before January 2014, so that's pretty old. Um, we can go in and look at the backlinks, make sure you have the same ones. This will take a little bit longer, but uh, it is possible to go in, look at your competitors' backlinks, make sure you appear there, and then go out and get your own backlinks, uh, niche relevant, and that will help Google to recognize your authority. And um, the last person was Sharko's. And I want to talk about keywords in a minute. So, okay, exactly. They have about 285, 82. So a lot of your competition are hanging out in this, about the same area. So slowly but surely, it is possible to catch up with them. And with the time frame you gave in about three, four months, um, I think that is, I, I don't like to guarantee things, but I know that if you're going with me, I'd work very hard, Com look, doing a lot of research with your competitors, keyword research, and make sure you can get there to their level within uh, that time. The thing about Google is that you can't go ahead and add all the 285 backlinks all at once. It has to look organic, otherwise Google will flag you. So just one thing about keywords. Now, um, Keywords are, this is why they're important because for each keyword, and this is why this tool is important and such tools because you can tell there are about 150 people searching for Catering Phoenix, Arizona. And they get about 13 because they're in the fourth position. I liked, to, I liked the way your other competition looked because it's more, because um, I made the search of caters in Phoenix. So let's take a look at this and see Kate, oh, sorry, Catering Phoenix. About 350 people look for that every month. And their traffic is 22 because they're in the sixth position. So this is another way of key, doing keyword research because you can tell the kind of um, keywords that your competitors are looking for and the kind of traffic that they're getting. Therefore, if you start to rank, if you include these keywords within the content, of, of what you have within the citations of your, uh, I'm sorry, the dis business description in your GMB, Google will start to see that you're, you're authoritative and relevant and start to put you in front of the searches that search for these keywords. And I can tell that there's quite a bit of uh, traffic within um, the catering niche in Phoenix. So um, let's look at your Sharkos again, because Sharkos have a lot of caters in Phoenix. They get seven people because they're in the fifth position. 90 people search for that every month, um, et cetera. Uh, restaurants that cater in Phoenix, they get 2.3 people. because 70 people search for that per month because they're in the ninth position, and et cetera. So the, the, what I'm just trying to show you is the power of keywords and the power of ranking with good keywords. So once again, thank you very much, Carmens. I hope this has uh, helped you. Um, and like I said, if you choose to go with me, I'll be more than happy to have a discussion and let's see how we can get started as soon as possible, maybe even before the new year. Uh, if not, hand these tips to you know your SEO person and I hope you can get more and more business. Thank you very much. Again, my name is Charles. Thanks for staying with me so far. I wanted this to be below 10 minutes, but fortunately it took, I, I had a lot to talk about. My email, info at warleydigital.com or charles at warleydigital.com, or you can give me a number, uh, shoot me a text or call me. I'm available by email, text, or uh, even through Upwork if you send me a message again. All right, thank you very much and all the best.